Well, since I had it out, I figured I'd do a quick review of the AK-74 and AK-100 series bayonet. This is the modern bayonet, the one that they're using right now in Russia. Um, it's a really neat one, and I'll go through some of the features on the outside, and then we'll open it up and take a look at some of its other features. Uh, to begin with, very utilitarian, not a lot extra going on here. It's a very useful tool in a small package, not a lot of gizmos or fancy doohickeys or anything. Pretty much you got your sheath, you got your knife, and then you've got a frog, uh, which is the little piece of leather here that attaches it to a, a, a belt or gear or whatever. So it's a simple belt loop, uh, riveted to a cross member here with a stud and a slit in the piece of leather. And then uh, that's connected with a simple cl metal clip to a ring or a tab basically at the back of the sheath. The sheath or the knife is held into the sheath with uh, compression springs uh, that are just right here. They're just a big spring that holds it together, kind of squishes the blade. And that is why you usually see a couple of marks on an AK-47 or AK-74 bayonet. Because if you imagine it going in here, that's just about where the spring is, is pinching down on the blade to keep it in place. And every time you pull it out, you're scraping that spring along the bottom of your bayonet there. So in, in, tr in storage and in transport, it's going to vibrate against here and it's going to create a line on almost every AK-47 or AK-74 bayonet you find. And that's because of the way that it hold, is held in. At the bottom here, there's um, basically a, a thing for to make it a wire cutter. And then uh, not much else to it. There's some drain holes. The um, way that it works is you put your bayonet in. The slot on the bayonet goes over this square-shaped stud on the end of the scabbard. And once it's in place, it'll turn, pivot on the, on the stud there. And you can see that it becomes, with this notch on the other side, and then the blade, of course, it becomes a wire cutter. Because the sheath is made from polymer, and because the handle is made from polymer, and it doesn't, you know, it's insulated from the blade, which is the only metal, along with this metal, they're both insulated, uh, you can cut electric barbed wire with this. So, uh, pretty handy cutter tool. Uh, no real tools necessary to, to get it together, just grab put each part in each hand and go to work. Real easy to come back apart as well. And that's why the attachment here is a clip so that if this was attached to your belt it's fairly simple to just push in, remove the scabbard, use it as a wire cutter and then attach it back to your belt. It makes the knife flop around a little bit and I guess that's something you have to get used to. Um, there's of course the loop where it goes over the barrel and the uh, attachment back here where it clips to the bayonet lug. It's basically just a button to release it. And then of course you got your spear type blade. This is a neat one. The way that the blade is set up there, you can see it's just sort of shifted over to create uh, the initial sharpening area or whatever, like a blood groove, like an, an area to sharpen from. And then of course the blade is sharpened on one side and it's got sort of saw teeth on this other side. So it's a neat one. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, we could get a lot into the different collectability of them. There's uh, a purple hue. I don't know in this light if it's showing up or not, but the Russians will have sort of a plum hue to the inside the polymer. There's a Bulgarian version that's very similar. This one has the Russian Ismash uh, triangle factory mark and the mold make the mold numbers here. And then it's got some inspector marks. The uh, Bulgarian would be a little different. It would have a circle 10 and it would have its indicators in different places. Um, neat bayonets, again used on the AK-74s and now the AK Century series which are the 100s, 101, 104, all the different 100 series AKs. And very functional, very utilitarian. It can still use it like a knife. You can definitely use it like a weapon. And of course, it's a wire cutter. Some of them are exported as on uh, uh, display knives, and you want to watch right here where it attaches to the handle, and you want to make sure that it hasn't been cut with a saw. Basically, they cut halfway or more through the metal, 
and what you're left with is a knife that if it was ever used it would immediately break from its handle so it's meant for display only this one is not an example of that but I mention it because if you are out and you're interested in these types of knives these types of bayonets be on the lookout for that it's still a collectible it's still worth something it's just that you don't wanna of course ever use it because you would break it <laughs>